Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to print from your Android device to your Epson Wi Fi enabled printer. Okay, so you've got your Epson Wi Fi printer, which is all good, and you can print from your laptop, etc. But sometimes you may want to print from your mobile phone, such as an Android device. So it's relatively straightforward to do. All you need to do is download a simple app and make sure that the printer and your phone or device are on the same Wi-Fi network. So if you go over to the Play Store and type in Epson, and Epson iPrint is the app that you want, and I've already got it installed, but you can go ahead and install it on yours, and click on Open, and I've already set up the printer, but normally at the top you just click on printer and get it to search for a printer. It will then search your Wi-Fi network. You can select your printer. Then that's set up, ready to go. So that is basically it. And from there you can go into the maintenance menu or you can go to save documents or photos. So let's open a photo now. So what have we got in here? This not too embarrassing. Okay, that's relatively embarrassing. So we'll select that one, click next, and then you've got the options of what size you want it. So on this, I'm gonna do it as a four by six just to reduce the print time. But that is pretty much it. You can go into the settings, change it to A4 or whatever size you want. But yeah, that is pretty much it. So go to the App Store, download Epson iPrint, make sure both your phone and your device are on the same Wi-Fi network. And within minutes, you can be doing this yourself. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Well, and if there's anything I didn't cover in this video that you want more information on, put it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. See you in the next one. Still waiting. Thanks for sticking to the end of the video. Any time now? While you're waiting, it's a good time to click on the subscribe button and click on the chime icon and you'll be notified of any further video releases, which hopefully will this will finish printing before the next video comes out. It's not the fastest printer in the world, but it is very cheap to run. And if you want to know how to change the cartridges, click on the link up here. At last. So there's our picture. Was it worth the wait? Probably not. But thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.